What's good everyone, Smiling Grove here playing Assetto Corsa Competizione and as promised we are going to be doing a career mode series on the channel so check out Instagram that's where I talked about uh, posting this and please be sure to follow like and subscribe to the channel so here we go we're gonna start a new career and I think we're gonna go long hopefully it's gonna be a good series so it would be awesome to become a GT3 driver so let's go Hi there, I'm Mirko Bortolotti, Lamborghini factory driver and 2017 Blanc Pen GT Series champion. Welcome to the career mode of Assetto Corsa Competizione, the official video game of the Blanc Pen GT Series. You have been granted the access to the Lamborghini Youngster program at the legendary Temple of Speed of Monza, and you will be driving a Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo. This monster is not a plug-and-play experience, so we first need to verify if you really got what it takes for GT racing. You will be asked to perform some simple and very basic tests like driving the car out of the pit lane, avoiding collisions with other drivers, staying within the track limits and bring the car back in one piece. Our race engineers will need to check your radio systems, tire temperatures and brakes, so be careful and remember. Racing never starts from being fast, but from being safe and disciplined. After the first installation tests, the team will ask you to prove your skills with performance-focused tests. Be focused, don't overdrive, merge yourself with the car and do your best. The results will affect how good you will start your career, so that maybe some of the best teams will offer you a drive in the next Sprint Cup season. See you on track and good luck! Wow, what an intro from Bartolotti. That was awesome. I hope you guys are excited. I'm excited to start this series. Back at Monza, the Temple of Speed. We're going to go hard in Italy. So here we go. Lamborghini Youngster Program. We're going to start up and see if we got what it takes to become a GT3 driver. Green light. Give it all you can. Welcome to the Lamborghini Youngster Program. Today, you are given a seat in the Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo. Our team will look at your best lap on track in dry conditions. Complete at least two safe and valid laps and then start pushing. Good luck! Wow, this is so great to be playing a set of course again. The sound and the feeling of everything is so amazing. But one thing I definitely uh, am going to have to do is practice quite a bit. Coming from F1 2020 back into this, it is uh, extremely different to drive. As you can tell, just by going up to the Red Fidelio chicane there, I completely missed that corner. I broke way too early. I didn't even come close to hitting my apex like a nightmare. So... I will definitely be practicing so you have better racing than that um, but here we go first time back on track in Monza in a GT3 car uh, specifically the Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo and man this game leaps and bounds over other games I've been playing recently but that's the point that's the whole point of sim is you know find where you fit in and go at it coming up to the scari oh not bad not bad in the scari the thing that i really like about this game is look up in the top right corner where it's telling me you know how i'm driving it's actually grading me so I know where I need to improve uh, and go, when I go forward. So right now my track confidence is at 39. I'm definitely going to boost that up. But driving this car is completely different. Yeah. 216. That's not great pace. So I'm going to have to play with some things. Uh, probably going to have to... See if I hit the uh, Red Affilio chicane here. That was better. But yeah, as you see, you know, just putting time and, and laps down, that will help. But I really like that it's, it's giving me a grading system. 
to improve your driving. So if you want to play a game that will help you improve your driving, this looks like the one. And I can tell you by far, it has the best physics source of a console game that I've played recently. And don't get me wrong, F1 2020 is extremely fun. And I absolutely love that game. And I hope to play that game more on the channel. But this game is much more realistic to driving. But just make sure you turn off all the assists so you get the most raw and natural feel. Coming up to Ascari again. Oh, that was better. So, so far, looks like my two most difficult areas are the Red Affilia Chicane, right after the long straight, and the Parabolica, which is coming up right now. Not that I'm missing it, but as I'm trying to hit that apex, I'm not coming out again using the full width of the track. You always want to use the full width of the track when you can. Don't disregard track limits. But if you can use the full width of the track, do it. Because that's going to give you your best lap time. Redofilio again. Yeah. This corner is... Because I can't late break as much as I can in the F1 car it's completely different driving experience it's it's great but it's completely different and it's gonna take some practice to get used to and that's what it is guys like don't get bogged down if you're playing and you're not doing that great on your first outlap like if you haven't driven the track with a car or you know played with the um, the setup which clearly I need to do for my driving style because my pace is not that great so I'm gonna need to work on some things there some downforce but so far as according to the game I'm doing not too bad my track confidence is going up so that's good Monza is a great track to kind of learn on in my opinion because there's nothing too crazy there's a couple of chicanes you know you have the scari the redofilio you have the huge sweeping right of the parabolica which is an extremely fast corner if you do it correctly and you have the curva grande and the lesmos which I haven't talked about yet. So let's talk about that on this next uh, lap around the track. The other thing, um, which is in F1 2020, but I haven't talked about it is, oh nice, we got a little award, that's great. And see, our pace is improving from before, so that's what you want. You just want to try to get better every time you go around the track. Ooh. I like the way that looked pretty good. Looked like I clipped the apex on both, but it was not consistent based on before. So now that we're out of track confidence, we're into consistency. So yeah, this game is great if you want to help improve your driving. So we just went there on Curve Ground Day. I always forget the name of that corner. That's a chicane. Ah, oh, that's the Della Rogia chicane. Now we're in the Lesmos. Second Lesmo. I just kind of drifted that one. But yeah, so guys, everything right now is just standard in the game. I haven't played with the setup. I think I 
did select the aggressive setup or I might have just started can't remember but there is three setups that you can select there's aggressive that the game puts together for you aggressive um, safe and wet so obviously wet is pretty self-explanatory you are going and driving in the wet easy the second one well the, the first one on the list is safe so it's gonna give you a little bit more understeer you're gonna be a little bit more down on power but you're gonna be able to drive consistent and like it says safely you're not gonna be pushing the limits of the car too much oh we got another trophy that's pretty sweet consistency pretty good let's see how we do in the uh, red affiliate chicane here see if we can get out of the red that'd be excellent yes okay guys so uh, I'll explain what happened there in the reason why that was cut was that previous section and the time change and everything I was driving through one of the Lesmos I clipped the corner I smashed into the wall could have left it in if you guys wanted to see that but I'm trying to condense the footage here so you don't necessarily have to spend three hours watching <laughs> me drive around Monza in the career mode I'm gonna do my best to you know give you good quality and none of the if it's a good crash for sure but it wasn't that great but it was a crash anyway as you can see the consistency going up um, and yes we were talking about setups sorry sometimes that happens I, I apologize if it throws you off too much but that's just the way my brain works so <laughs> the last one would be aggressive so you're gonna have high power high downforce um, you're gonna need to probably increase your braking zones a little bit or change the pads so that way you have good braking depending on the race so it looks like this session is going to be coming to an end soon I have I broken the two minute mark yet not yet but I might here oh uh, two six okay and just because the event is over <laughs> Do not let go of the steering wheel because you will crash like I just did. Well, that was fun. All right, so we're in dead last. So we definitely need to incre increase our pace and we definitely need to uh, play with setup. All right, guys, so that's career mode part one. Hope you come back for part two. As always, stay smiling.